Today you will learn about the best way you can create 3D viral reels inside of After Effects just by following a few simple steps. We will be working with my 3D camera plugin for After Effects which will simply convert your scene into 3D and place and scale the layers in the 3D space automatically with just one click. The link will be in the description and you can use the code B5 for $5 off. So the first step is simply create a new composition that has the size of a reel. So make it 1080 by 1920 click on OK. Now what you're going to do is simply create your scene by simply putting assets into your composition. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So we'll simply import some assets. So I'm going to import a background like this and then I'm going to simply import some pictures to create my scene. So I'll pick all right and I'm simply going to build my scene from that. So I'm going to add more stuff. I'm going to add some text. So I'll just import some pictures. So I'll start with this. And then as you can see, I'm simply placing them and scaling them. I'm simply placing pictures and scaling them accordingly so it can look clean in the composition. Now I'm simply going to add a text so it can look a little bit fuller. Now what I'm going to do is simply select my CD and I'll simply make a composition with it. So I'll click on OK. Now as you can see I got my CD that is on focus. So what I'm going to do is a simple quick switch animation. So what I'll do is just a simple animation. So I'll just import a bunch of other CDs and I'm just going to switch the pictures between each other. So now what I'm going to do is simply scale down every single pictures so they can fit into the composition. So I'll do it for the rest of my CDs. All right, so now what I'm going to do is, sim is a simple flicker effect. As you can see, I just layered the layers on top of each other and I cut them when another layer appeared on the screen. So it looks like that. Now what I'm going to do is simply make the flicker loop for a second time. So I'll select all of these layers. I'll click on Ctrl C, then Ctrl V. And then I'll simply drag it like that. And now I'm going to put my original CD back into the mix like so. So now it looks like that. All right. So now what I'll do is simply select my pre-composition, click on R, and I'll simply make a little rotation. And to make the animation smoother, I'll simply select all my keyframes, click on F9, then click on the graph editor. And what I'm going to do is simply push it like that. So that it's faster at the start and slower when it ends. So once all of your layers are placed like you want them to be placed simply click on create 3d camera and layers and in case you didn't notice the scene got converted into 3d here's the proof um so as you can see every layer is positioned in the in the 3d space accordingly and all of that with a simple click of a button and as you can see there's a room size option and with it you can control the room size of the 3d scene if you want the layers to be really far away from each other you're simply going to put it all the way up and if you want the layers to be really close to each other, simply put it all the way down. And now, if you want to control the camera to see how the scene looks, simply click on the three camera slider like this. Alright, and as you can see, there's a camera shake option, which will give you a really good and realistic camera shake. And you can, uh, you can control the shake ac accordingly to what you want, so I'm simply going to put it the intensity a little bit down and what I'm gonna do now is simply select my camera controller click on P I'm gonna click on position to add a new keyframe then I'm gonna go a little bit further in the timeline add a new keyframe now what I'm gonna do is simply animate my camera
and as you can see this is how it looks it's already looking pretty clean so what you can do is simply now adjust your animation simply uh, move the layers so I'll simply move the layers here and there so I'll simply move these these notes maybe rotate them in a 3d space to add a little bit more depth to it and I'll also add a graph to my camera animation so I'll simply click on that and I'll simply create a graph right there and it looks like that and it looks just like that as you can see it's clean but there's something that is really uh, bugging me is that there's some black borders in there to fix that what you're gonna have to do is simply select the layer that's creating the black borders uh, in my case is the background simply select it and simply click on expand selected layer and here we go we fixed the problem now what you can do is simply click ctrl a then ctrl c to pre-comp everything and now you can simply put your overlays on top of the animation to make it look clean so i'll just I'll do just that, I'll simply import an overlay, I'll put it on top and I'll simply put the mode at screen. So this is how it looks like and what you can do is simply repeat the process all over again to create a full reel and I guarantee that this type of style really will engage the viewer and makes you, and makes you a lot of likes and views. If this video was helpful to you. I guess you would like to learn how to edit like Houston and make reels like him. So if you do, don't hesitate to check out this video right there. I'm going to teach you everything in it.